morning. Good morning, Brian. Good morning, Miss Kerry. How are you? Good. How did we sleep last night? Like rocks. <laughs> Couldn't wake up, could we? Oh, uh, that, mm. um, that's the first big walk we've done mm. since we've been back off the road. So. That two hour walk? Yeah. Actually, I just noticed that your face is quite burnt. Yeah, I didn't have my big hat on. I think you've got white marks around your eyes where your sunnies were. <laughs> Yeah, I think I couldn't wake up because we walked for two hours yesterday and then we went out to have some dinner. Um, only had two drinks, but I think it was just the... And the, obviously the day before you drove, Brian oh, drove the whole way because I still haven't driven with the Swifty on yet, which I will do. Um, so what are we thinking of the South Coast so far? Oh, it's amazing. Look, I've always been a North Coast person, always grew up on the North Coast for holidays. Um, everyone always talked down on the South Coast when I was a kid. Because oh, really? it was windy and cold and oh. yeah, but it's um, stunning. It's amazing. The mm. water is amazing. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he actually said yesterday how beautiful it was and we did that walk around all those beaches that we mentioned. Um, then I went into the Tourist Information Centre, <coughs> excuse me, that was a bit funny, um, because, I didn't know I was going to... no, they didn't really have the answers, which most tourist information centres, well, actually all of them that we've ever been into have been amazing, I think they might have been new, yeah, were they, yeah, so I, what I wanted to know was about what we want to do today, going across to Murray's Beach, and we've got to go into Bittery National Park, but you go through where um, HMAS Creswell is and... It's a rifle range. Yeah, so I had read maybe some days you can't go through there, but they weren't really sure. <laughs> so... We'll see. <clears throat> we will see today. We'll go in there and there's a walk that you can do around to the Lighthouse Ruins. And you've just got to pay, I think she said she thought it was $13 or something to for a two-day pass. So we'll do that. And then tomorrow we want to go around to where the big inland lake is. So this is big, George's Basin. Yeah, the big map that I've got. No, we're not going to go as far as St George's Basin. I wouldn't mind going to Sanctuary Point. She did mention that that was a, a really lovely spot for walking and swimming. And there's just so much to explore here. And so glad we've got the Swifty. Oh, yes. So good. So glad we've got the tow car because <laughs> we wouldn't see any of this no. without packing up and driving the van out to it. I know. And like... it's a good 25k drive. Yeah, the one so, this morning. Yeah. Is, yeah. Just to the National Park. Yeah. So just the best thing we've ever done. Yeah, I think so too. Like it just means that we can stay places for longer and actually drive out and explore everything. Um, Caravan Park is good. They're Beautiful. Yeah. There was a bit of an issue the first night with some poor people behind us that actually packed up and left in the dark because of some other customers, which wasn't so nice. Um, but all in all, it sort of seems like it's still school holidays and we are here over the weekend. Brian's making coffee. Yay! <laughs> Speak up. <laughs> no, I'll go and have my coffee and we will show you around um, where we head out to today. See ya. Murray's Beach um, in the National Park yeah which we've just paid $13 to come in and it's for two days which is fabulous you can camp in here we're gonna call in and have a look at that on the way back out to have a look at the campground um, I think we're just gonna do this trail around here yeah um, and out to Governor Head it's about 5 k's maybe we'll stop at the lighthouse on the way back yeah we're gonna drive to that I think that walk would be Horrendous. A couple of hours. <laughs> so no. <laughs> All right. Seems to be a very popular beach. Yeah. Um, 
5.4? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. We'll do that. We can do that. Alright. Okay. What do you think? Oh wow. <laughs> you can see why it, people write about this beach. Beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? It's so flat and that flat. end up there is beautiful. Yeah. And then up there. Just a little piece of paradise. It is. Yeah. We'll come back after our walk. Underwater garden. Yeah, just out there. Good place to choose snorkel. Okay. High risk area. And then deaths have occurred. High surf, large waves, tides, currents, sharks. <laughs> so this is uh, one of the entrances to Jarvis Bay. Like uh, the cage we see in the water. How the hell do you get around there? Yeah, you don't. That's why the best is. What if there's such a Bowen Island? What is it? Bowen Island and it's got penguins. Yeah. It's a sea, a colony of sea penguins. It's beautiful, isn't it? Wow. It is actually a little bit like um, Mariah Island at a small yeah. scale with those bits. The water is beautiful. So that cave is called Devil's Elbow. Are we there yet? Now? No. <laughs> Where are we? In the middle of the bush. Here's a sign. We don't want to go to Stony Creek. Oh no, it's 1.5. Yeah, I think we need got there. Okay. So we're going to head back to the beach and have a swim. Ruin. The lighthouse is on top of that mountain, so. But the ruins are over there. Yeah, so we're not walking there. No, we're getting the car and drive out to the ruins. We are here. Yeah. <laughs> so we went out. Oh, actually, went up there first, to yeah. the governor's point, and then we went all the way down, way around, okay, all the way up to there. Oh, I finished our walk, took an hour and 20 minutes, and we decided to come down, what's this beach called? Murray's Beach. Murray's, Murray's Beach for a swim. Uh, there's like 200 people here already. <laughs> it's unbelievable. Yeah. I've never seen so many people walking towards a beach. When we got here this morning, there was hardly anyone there's here. There's two people. Yeah, and now the, the car park's full. It is Sunday though. Yeah. It's Sunday, so. Maybe it's one of the most popular beaches for the people that live here as say, well, but yeah. you can see why. It's absolutely beautiful beach. Let's go for a swim. Okay. So, Huskers and Markets on a Sunday in the sports ground. Lots of stalls? Uh, there's hundreds. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, Miss Kerry. Good morning. How are you? Good. Um, what did we wake up to? Rain, it's a bit early. And thunder. Yeah, I thought it was going to rain tomorrow. Um, and we're going to go droning this morning. <laughs> it's not going to happen. No. But we may get out to that lighthouse ruins. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, we'll still go for a drive. I'll just, here's a quick look. It's very grey, very... There are signs of sunshine. And we might have a massage. We, oh yeah, massages are good in rainy days. Yeah. Mm. And a bit of cleaning of the van and... Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I don't think we're going anywhere. Thunder and lightning. Hi Kerry. Ready for coffee. Five little pigs. Very popular. It's supposed to be good. <laughs> Better be. Hi. Out in the rain. Um, you're kind of spoilt for choice in this place. You have Club Jarvis Bay next to the Husky pub and there's Kerry and that's Bud's Tavern straight across the road and that straight up very busy when it was open wasn't it yeah yeah very busy and up, and up the end of this street is the bowling club and back down towards our caravan park is a brewery so and the Italian 
restaurant up there as well along this strip? Yeah, just that? for drinking, I mean. Oh, I think we're talking about eating as no, well. No, no, just drinking. Spoiled for choice. Yeah, and for food. Yeah. And yeah, this um, this whole strip is just full of, there's a pasta restaurant, a Thai restaurant, Chinese restaurant, um, pasta kitchen, lots of cafes, just lots and lots of stuff. Husky Bakery around the corner from the main drag and looks really busy down the side there. Huge. Very big. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the difference if you go in the water or if you're yeah, yeah, yeah. out in the rain? Looks beautiful. This is beautiful. Like, it's still green and it's overcast. So that is the Huskisson Beach. What's um, it called? White Sands Huskisson Beach. Okay, that's there. And at the other end is White Sands. White Haven. White Haven. White Sands. White Sands. The one yeah. that we couldn't get into up yeah. there. We just met Sam. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for giving us all of the tips on the walks and things that we absolutely loved. And they'll be in either this video or... Next one. Or the one that's just come out yeah whatever whatever brian does with the editing um but thanks for having a chat to us yeah, yeah it was really nice to meet you um and this beach looks beautiful yeah huskisson beach yeah main beach hey just had a massage rains are gone now it's just humid and clear again miss kerry going for a swim in the sea pool so this is where having the tow car is invaluable <laughs> because we're driving on gravel a gravel road to go out to the lighthouse ruins i didn't realize that the road was like this because on the map it looked like i didn't look in my book um just on the map that they gave us at the park it looked like the road was tarred <laughs> it's not i assure you <laughs> corrugations um, yeah so there's no way we'd be bringing the motorhome not a chance out here not even loving it being in the car <laughs> um it's not too bad yeah it's just it's, a bit corrugated it's been raining so the corrugations are worse it's a bit a little bit yucky too anyway we should be there very soon and we'll show you well that was a drive that would have been a bit of a walk oh <laughs> it's like nine k's from the main road oh yeah just from the main road it took us it was a 25 minute drive out from the caravan park so we're here and we were driving through the forest basically weren't we mm -hmm. so we would not have been able to come here with just the motorhome no that's what it used to look like uh, 1870 I wonder why it's called wreck bay because I used to turn right and go in there. Well, that's what the lady at the um, Tourist Information Centre said. They decommissioned this lighthouse because it was in the wrong spot <laughs> and it was sending ships... To the right, around it, into that bay. <laughs> and there's 40 wreck, Something wreck like that. ships out there. So that is in the wrong spot. Yeah. Dope. The stables. Oh, okay. Well, what's this? So this is like a story of tragedy upon tragedy upon tragedy. This is the story, if you want to pause we'll it just, and read it. We'll just put that there. I don't know if it'll come out, but... And this is the shipwrecks. These guys died of typhoid, shark attacks, falling off cliffs, really? gunshots. Uh, some say cursed. Yeah. Uh, the view from here is not that bad. Wow. Wait for it. Pretty rugged. So, Miss Kerry. Yeah. What is it? What did I get? Rock salt caramel? Yeah. With caramel fudge. Yeah. And a chocolate thick shake. Yum. Mm. And yum. Best thick shake I've ever had. You did say that, didn't you? I did. Hang on. Again. That is really good. Yum. Oh, good morning. 
<laughs> this is the weather outside. It's a nice day. It's beautiful, not cold, <laughs> rainy, but what did we just do? We just went swimming in the ocean pool. Was there anybody else in there? Nope. No, there's a reason, isn't there? It was actually a bit cold, wasn't it? It was freezing. Yeah. Like, even Tasmania girl here thought it was cold. <clears throat> so that's the way to start a day. Now we're going to go and get some coffee. We're going to warm up with mm. some nice coffee from somewhere in Huskisson. Mm, we'll yeah. find some somewhere. Yeah, like we're not going to get the, we let the weather... Um, get us down. Stop, stop us from getting out and enjoying things. Um, and then we might actually still do that drive. Oh, we're going to go to the pub for lunch. Yeah, this one here. For the muscles. The husky pub. <laughs> we saw, I saw somebody the other day, I had food envy. <laughs> I had um, a... The bowl of mussels with the tomato sauce yep. and the bread. and. going to have that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds yep. good. We should, might show you that later. <laughs> we probably will. Yeah. Okay, curtain update. Did not last very long. Why? Why? Because the hook snapped off. Because <laughs> it wasn't big enough. So I'll put a bigger one up there and we'll see how that one goes. So now we're just doing our... Every couple of days, shake the rugs out and the sweeper ladies in, the cleaner. Give it a sweep. Um... Right, we're gonna sweep it out, put the rugs back down. We're all set to go. Sweet. Where are we? St George's Basin. <laughs> Sanctuary uh, Point. Sanctuary Point in St George's Basin. We can't get out because the wind's blowing at 40 knots and the rain's shooting sideways. So. So out across there is Sussex. Sussex Inlet on the opposite side of the basin. I was going to get out and show you, but it's um, really windy and <laughs> sleeting outside. <laughs> so we just wanted to come for a drive. Um, now we're going to go back and have lunch at the pub. Yes. Okay. I stay in Huskisson in the Husky pub for lunch. Oh, and here's the food. There's a different menu up the top to down the bottom, so be aware of that. And you can buy stuff from the top bistro and take it down the bottom. So we have mussels. Yeah. And seafood spaghetti. Hang on. Hang on. He wants <laughs> Later on in the night When the crowds have gone We could talk under moonlight Till dawn mm -hmm. We could stay to watch the sunrise Cancel all our plans we don't need a reason why we just can't mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I could stop time And stay in this moment Never think about going Won't you stay with me for a little while Got myself free falling Deep into your eyes. Good morning. Good morning. We've had a busy morning. We have. We got to go out to that beach we wanted to swim at before it started howling with wind and rain. Blenheim? And yeah, Blenheim. And it was sunny this morning, so Miss Curie went for a dip. Yeah, so we're leaving today, and because it had been raining the last two days, we woke up to the sunshine, and I said, got to go in there. Yep. And Brian was able to put the drone up for the first time since we've been here, um, which we wanted to do as well. So that'll be in either this video or the last one. Um, was that five days? Five nights? Five nights, which is four full days because... Wow. Yeah, it went really fast, didn't it? So we're heading to Naruma, mm. um, probably for a week. I've only booked five nights, but I think we might want to stay a bit longer. And we might be swimming with... Seals. Seals. <laughs> Labradors of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> I have booked that. I rang them yesterday. Yeah. Um, so now we're going to go and hook up the car. Um, waving goodbye to somebody that was asking us about our motorhome because they like the look of it and they 
they looked at this model. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're in a caravan, but his wife wants to go back to a motorhome, so I guess they're going back to a motorhome. <laughs> uh, all right, well, we'll go and get petrol in this and then hook up the car in a little um, quiet spot that we've seen across the road from the service station. Yeah. And we'll see you at Naruma. We will. Okay, bye.